Yo guys, what is going on? It is your boy Nick from the foot market and dudes today tonight Whatever whatever time you're watching this video at I have a new video for you guys um, And basically what this video is gonna be about is uh, it, it is about the Lee gun uh, player of the year now the Lee gun player of the year is out um, You guys can see here. I'll bring it up on Flipin for you all you guys can see the squad building challenges are now available so this is something that um we were expecting uh it turns out that mbappe won the award and neymar won the award so mbappe won young player of the year and neymar won uh player of the year are these both mbappe? what are these so that's the player season year. so player of the season uh neymar won and young player of the season uh mbappe won now mbappe was very expected um i told you guys this morning to sell in the hype just when he hit 180 190 they didn't actually require him so there's some things you guys can do right now and we're going to look on console in a minute as some different requirements but they didn't actually require his inform or special cards which is kind of surprising and it's really weird now first of all just as a whole these spcs are way too overpriced um mbappe is currently valued at 818,000 coins and Neymar is currently valued at 1.58 million. So to me, guys, these cards are definitely not cards you should be doing right now. It is not effective. Uh, Cost-wise, it's just not worth it for you guys to do these cards. In my opinion, you guys can use your coins in other places at other times. I don't really see a true value in doing these SBCs. We've seen it time and time again, guys. I was telling you when Sané and, uh, and, and Salah came out, Salah's SBC was about 1.2 million. And, uh, and, and uh, Sané's was about 800, uh, 650 to 700. Turns out, team of the season comes out. You guys can go onto the Xbox Live PS transfer market. And you guys can go pick yourself up a Sane right now for sub 400,000 coins. So you basically, you could get them tradable a week later for just the same price. Now, next week is going to be Bundesliga team of the season. And then the week after that is going to be the league on team of the season, most likely with Kalsiwa. Maybe Kalsiwa goes with Bundesliga. I don't really know how they're going to do it. Um, I'm not 100% how they're going to unveil all this. All I will tell you is that Neymar and Mbappe will be re-released as the same exact card in about a week and a half two weeks so for you guys to go ahead and do these SBCs right now that doesn't make sense to me i can't really see a logical way of that working out for you now there are a few ways you guys should do the SBCs. if you have a ton of players in your club that are team of the season cards that you're going to pack duplicates of this week that is something you guys can go ahead and go to the SBCs. that's something that i would recommend but i want to take you guys on the SBC tab now that we are now that we've kind of talked about it on flipping, I want to take you guys over to the SBC tab over here. And I want to talk about a few things regarding these SBCs. Now, I'm going to I'm gonna tag them as favorites so we can go through them and, and talk about them. Neymar, you need his special card. Um, I, you guys might have seen my tweet uh, by now in this video. I just made three and a half million coins on Neymar. I'm going to say it very great, like humbly and graciously. I'm not going to I'm not going to do a brag about it on this video. I made three and a half million coins on Neymar. Basically, I was watching the ceremony. I saw R9 come up, who is Brazilian, if you guys don't know. R9 came up to the stand. R9 came up and he gave the speech. And right as he was unveiling the um, unveiling the, let, the, the the envelope, right, where the winner is, you know, he laughed. And I was like, all right, this is too weird. Like, R9 has given the speech. Why would he be there if Neymar didn't win? Neymar's all dressed up. Um, and, and he laughed and then he didn't say it for 10 seconds. And I was like, all right, like I think Neymar won. So I went out to the transfer market and I picked up like 15 Neymars for about 400, 410 K. And I said, Hey, at worst, if he doesn't win, I'll lose probably 50 K a card. I'll lose a lot. But at that time I already, I had already, and you guys will see right now, I had already picked up a ton of Cavani's on my transfer list. Um, and I knew for the player of the year that that wasn't going to be cheap. So I knew that whoever won the player of the year, that was going to be required as an SPC. They had to require the player of the year player. Like they were going to re require the special card for the player of the year. The young player of the year, I thought they could have maybe done weird with Mbappe. Kept five out of the 20 I had. Sold 15 of the hype. Made good money there. Kept five. Didn't do too hot there. I'm going to lose probably like 50 to 100 a card right now. I'll probably sell later this week. I'll let it rebound. But yeah it was crazy like that's why help it watching these ceremonies really helps guys and you guys can find the links on the internet just for future um i noticed it because dalvin was a huge favorite uh florence dalvin was a massive favorite and he didn't end up winning and i i, I knew he didn't win the second they brought up the league on team of the season and they put all the players in the league on that played the best um this year right and neymar cavani and mbappe were the front three and i was like all right then dalvin did a win it's going to be neymar and cavani so i just kind of went crazy on both neymar and cavani thinking whoever won was going to go to max price and i would get killed a little bit on the other one but the other one i would just make an absolute killing that that the getting killed on the other one wouldn't even matter so 
to be honest guys let's talk about investment wise and talk about this SBC you do get some packs back from the SBC so that's not too shabby at all team of the season players you need I think a total for Neymar you need six team of the season players so you need three in that SBC in the Brazil SBC you're gonna need um, one team of the season player and then in the Barcelona SBC you're gonna need two team of the season players so you guys are going to have your hands busy with team of the season players if you guys want to complete these SBCs. There's also 85 rated, 86 rated, um, 84 rating, and then there's an 85 rated. You finally got your ones to watch or team of the tournament uh, SBC requirement. Now, guys, let's just talk about this real quick. Neymar is about 1.6 million on flipping. We just talked about it. I, I think this is going to come down to about 1.4. I think this will settle around 1.4 to 1.5. It's an amazing card. Um, he's five star, five star. Let, let, just in terms of the card, it is. Um, where, where is the card? I just had it. I just had it, boys. All right, I just had it. 97 pace, 98 shooting. I mean, he's got a ton of 99 uh, statistics that I just saw on Twitter. I think Chew Boy or Marshall posted about it on Twitter. He's got a ton of 99 rated statistics. I, for me, guys, I just don't think at this point in FIFA, anyone is sitting here wanting to splash 1.6 million coins on an SPC. I just, I think everybody knows that this. Is gonna get re-released in a week and a half. I think I think that's what the community knows. And for me to sit on this video and tell you guys, hey, you know, you should go buy all these cards because this is what's needed for Neymar. I don't think so, man. I think this stuff is all gonna come down. I don't think a ton of people are gonna be doing this. And I think it's gonna follow a little bit of a similar trend like Salah and Sane. I just think I just can't see this rising. I think the requirements, especially on Neymar, are just Neymar out of both of these, Neymar is gonna be more done. I'll tell you that right now. I just but for me, even the Neymar requirements are absolutely insane. And then we can go take a look at Mbappe. But there are going to be some moves you guys can make and can make some coins. So we'll talk about those in a minute. So for Mbappe, I was shocked when you didn't need his uh, his inform. And I was actually kind of pissed off about it, guys. Because I do have in my club, I do have an Mbappe men of the match. Which I'm going to lose a little bit of coinage on. We can check right now. I think I bought him at like 180 this morning because I thought he was going to win. He is... Ah, uh, it's ugly, man. He's like 160, so he's not looking good too good right now at all. But what I was disappointed with, guys, was this, and this is so upsetting, man. I had an Mbappe once to watch all year. He's basically a lock for young player year, and turns out I can't submit him into the SBC. It's just, that is a little, uh, I don't know the word for it, but that's a little bit tough, right? Because I wanted to submit him into the SBC. I wanted to basically upgrade, get a new Mbappe in my club, and now I can't, which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. I'm not going to sit here and bitch. Um, so league gun players for two team of the season players again 85 rated two team of the season players one team of the season player here uh, Team of the tournament once the white. It's just all too much for me guys I, I I can't recommend you guys doing this Mbappe 800k. I think it's gonna be 600k in a week I think Neymar's market price and this is how I look at it guys And this is what I want to talk about you dudes Neymar's market price right now right Like I, 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 he's 800k that SPC. I can't see this being more than 600k. And I, what I want to talk about is this with Neymar. And a lot of people are going to wonder. A lot of people, and I think a lot of pros, are going to wonder about Neymar. And I know some of you guys catching my and tune into my videos to help out with your teams, when to sell them, when to do SPCs, all that kind of stuff. Guys, I, and, and this is especially to the pros who are really looking into doing Neymar. I just can't see Neymar. Here's what I wanted to look at: Suarez on the market. Suarez is 1.3 million. I thought this card was going to be 1.7. I would say Suarez and Neymar as a price comparison are pretty similar. Um, and Suarez, this is like day two or three, so Suarez is going to keep dropping. I think Neymar is probably going to be about 1.5 million on the on the tradable team of the season market at maximum. I think 1.5 million is a fair settle price. I don't really think he's going to be much more. I think he'll be probably in that 1.1 to 1.5 million range. So for you dudes wondering if you guys should do it, you guys should do it if you have like it like it required. If you have a Neymar in your club already, right, a, a special card, and you got it for like 400, do it because you'll save 300k. And if you have that on top of you've packed team of the season cards like me, right, or or you've done DKT stuff, or you have Ben Davies and, and and Sergio Busquets, and if you have those kind of things, then you guys should totally go ahead and do it because you'll be able to actually do it for probably 600k less than what the the value is. So you probably get it done for 900k. If you guys have, you know, if you if you have some of these dudes like Hoylet or, or O Black, because O Black's like 90k, I packed in my, my pack today. You guys saw it on a video on my channel, then yeah, go ahead and do it. I think that's totally worth it. Now, in terms of coin making methods, how can you guys exploit right now the panic on all this stuff and, and really utilize that and make some coins? There's totally some things you bros can do. And and the first thing is what I would do is I would get onto the market and say, what the hell is this? Mbappe, guys, 
is is right now going down to a value that is absolutely insane. He's 91 80,000 coins right now in form of Mbappe is. What I would do is start to watch this card and see how low it goes. It's now at 85,000 coins. I it's literally half the price. This card was 180,000 earlier. It's more than half the price of what it was earlier. So I would I would to be honest guys, I would get on a sniping filter. Look, I mean, they're just coming. They're just coming. We need to see realistically what this gets to because at some point there's going to be a recovery time and this thing is dropping like 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 insane amounts. I think that this is really going to become cheapest at some point very soon. This is now at 82,000 coins, which is just a freaking mental price. I mean, it's an inform Mbappe. At the end of the day, guys, it is a very good card. Um, so I, I would... 70,000. 70, Did I just miss that? I just got an inform Mbappe for 70,000 coins. If that goes lower, guys, I, I don't know. But that's the thing right there where you got to sit and you just have to monitor it. I mean, 70,000 is... What is that? What is that price, guys? You guys know that this card has always been a card... Especially the team of the group stage. I think the team of the group stage is better than the inform, right? Team of the like, I know that these cards may not be the most relevant, but just in terms of a recovery, I I, I, I would be shocked if this card doesn't go back to 100,000 coins. To be honest, it, it's Mbappe. It's a, like you know, it's an Mbappe inform. So that would be very shocking to me as well. If we didn't see this card go back up to that range of price, I, I'm I'm gonna be shocked. So that's one thing I would do right now. Another thing I would do. I would stay away from buying a lot for these SPCs. Again, I said it's just too expensive. I don't, I'm not gonna sit here and tell you guys that people are gonna be doing these SPCs. They're just, for me guys, it's too expensive. I, I realistically, I don't think so. I don't think it's in the best interest of you guys um, to be to be picking up players for these SPCs. I just can't see it. I really can't see it, guys. But definitely get here. I don't know what price Mbappe is gonna sell at, but I do like the panic right now, and I'll clean up the bottom of it. Um, as well as I also wanted to talk about, we'll let Mbappe drop for a minute because he is dropping. Um, so I'll let him, I'm addicted to sniping it. You guys have seen me get two around the 74 inch. I'm actually really into that right now. But I would also say, I don't really know where Neymar is going. If Neymar is heading in the, if Neymar is going in the down, oh, Neymar is going down. So I sold around 690 to 700. Neymar is crashing like crazy. So continue to watch that because regardless of the end of the day of the price of the SBC, Yes, it is expensive, but saying that, guys, um, these are still SBCs that are extremely desirable. Believe it or not, with the I know they're expensive, but you need to look into it like that. Like, at the end of the day, guys, people are still going to be doing Neymar. So if Neymar drops, if Neymar continually drops like like to those crazy prices, that is something that you guys you guys need to personally monitor. That that that's getting to to crazy prices, and and, and Mbappe is dropping like like crazy right now. So the market's losing its mind, guys. This has been the video today. I wanted to get a video out to you guys about these SPCs, giving you guys my thoughts about them realistically, what you guys can do to make, make some coins. The best thing to do right now, and you guys are going to have this opportunity for the next few hours after you see this video, pick up on the panic. All these dudes listing these cards for crazy, crazy prices. Definitely get involved. Definitely head over there. Try to get some deals. Um, and yeah, hope you guys enjoy the video today. Um, smash the like if you guys did. Subscribe if you guys are new. And I will see you guys in a brand new video soon. All right, we're going to have more uploads coming for you guys. So don't worry about that. Um, and thank you guys for watching. Click on the video. I'll see you guys all very soon. Peace out.